Hello, hello. Welcome to a new tutorial, a really quick one. I've been asked uh, by a member of YouTube, how can you filter a table using a multi-select component, one or two multi-select components, so that you can select several items. The table will show any row with any of those items. It's a really quick, it's, it's a really simple, out-of-the-box functionality that Ritual provides and I hope it can help you when creating your own your own filters. Let's go. Okay, so I have this very simple uh, with a table and two filters. The table is using the demo data that Ritual provides upon just adding a table. Now you can see the data if we inspect the table and we see the state, you will see the data. And we're going to filter by teams and row. Teams, you can see it's an object with different string values and we will filter by those. So what I've done is I created two multi-select. Apologize for this, it might be misleading. It's a multi. I first initially created a select, but then I had to change it because I realized that I was doing something else. So I will put this multi-select, which allows me to select one or more values. For this, I have mapped them manually to the values provided in Teams. And you have to remember that the value needs to match with the value in, in your data source. And the same thing for row, I map them manually. Now we will use the default filters and we will use the intersects operator. This intersect compares two arrays, the column and the value and returns the rows that have matching values. So if wherever there's match, a match between this one and this one, it will return. So it will go line by line, line by line. And if there is a match between these two, it will return that row. So in this case, search for my team's row. The intersect will automatically transform and convert this into, into an array. So you don't have to worry about the format, even if, for example, this row is actually not an array, it's a, it's a simple string, but the intersect will do the work for you. And I will just the name of my component, multi-select one and multi-select two. And by doing that, now I can start filtering. And this, so basically the filter goes row by row. And if there is any match with this, it will filter them. So you can actually have all of the rows that contain one of this. And then you can do the same here, viewers, editors, or admins. And I have added this show clear button here, so you can remove all of them. So this is a really, really easy way to apply these filters so that you can select multiple, multiple values in multiple components as well, so you can create, give the users the possibility to really drill down and break down to the data that they are looking for. Okay, th that's it really quick. I hope this is helpful. And let me know if you need any other help in other filters. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of operators, which can sometimes be confusing. You have the simple ones, which is equal, bigger, higher or not. But then you have include, does not include, is, is not empty, is one off, is not off which can be confusing. I have to admit also for myself, sometimes I don't know which one I have to choose. If it's something more complicated, uh, do let me know in the comments if you have any other question or user case that you're struggling with. And do let, give me a like, a thumbs up to this video if it's helpful, and subscribe if you haven't. This encourages me to keep doing more videos because I know that people are finding it useful. Brilliant. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye.